Hi, this is Kevin from Let Me Tech You. And in this video, I'm going to be going over um, tagging in Terraform. And if you're familiar, familiar with tagging in Azure or AWS or whatever, um, it's a way that you can kind of, you know, set tags for different purposes, whether it be um, finance, to be able to uh, understand like cost and what things are going to what department, uh, a way to tag things for specific projects or who deployed them. So there's various reasons for tagging, but a lot of people, once they get into um, building resources, they may, um, you know, forget to tag a lot of things that are already deployed or um, they want to set some defaults across all of their uh, resources, no matter what's deployed to make it easier. And so there's this tool called TerraTag that actually can help with that. And what it does is it takes the resources that you already built and it builds a locals block and it applies that tag to all of your resources. And if you already have tags already deployed to any of those resources, it'll actually automatically merge those with it. So we're gonna show you here, it's a real simple setup. So if you already have um, Terraform installed and everything, this will just make the uh, process a lot easier. So if you click on, if you go to terratag.io and you click on install Terratag, it's going to take you down here, and if you're using uh, Linux, it's a lot easier. Um, or they got some binaries here if we go to the uh, um, release binary and download it from there. So uh, it's simple, just brew install envo teratag forward slash teratag. And so that's going to uh, install it, and that's it. So now if I open up my editor of choice, VS Code, you can see I already have it um, installed. So if I do teratag, See, so it's saying missing tag. So we're gonna go through the process of how this works. So going back here for a second, um, here's the usage example. So install, do an initialization, and then you run your tear tag. And so if we go to the actual GitHub page here, it shows some more information around like some of the different flags you can set, it shows an example output of what happens. So as you can see here, Here's a resource. Uh, they already have two files and it got tag already applied here. But once you run TerraTag, it's going to um, turn those original files into .bak's and then it's going to append um, TerraTag.tf to the file. Now there's some flags you can set to not rename those and we'll go through that here in a second. So if you look here now, you have the tag merge with the existing tags and then like the new tags from the locals block that gets created. And then it does that on all the other resources as well. So let's go ahead and run that and see what it does. So if we go back into VS code here. So I'm going to do, so I already did, I'm in the right folder. So I don't have to do like the directory part, which you might've seen up here. So if you're not in that directory, that's where that's going to come in from. So I'm going to do TerraTag. And then I'm going to do dash. Here we got tags. And just a comma separated list of uh, key value pairs. So I'm going to go environment. And it equals, it's going to say dev. Um, then we're going to go department equals IT and then create it by oops, Kevin and then manage by Terraform by equals Terraform. Now, so that's it. So you can see here just a key then value, and then another key, then value there. So now if I do an enter, uh, due to there must be a valid JSON. So let's see what I got wrong here. Oh, let me take those comma or those spaces out. So there. All right. So as you can see, it processed it. Now, if you look inside of my file here, so now we got a main.tf.back, and that was the original one. And now we can see I got my local.teratag, 
added main. And then if we look here, environment production. So it looks like I already had a tag there. So it mer is, did it merge there and also put the other one. So it's probably gonna have two environment tags. Then if we look down, tag there, tag there, and tag there. And then we can see our locals block that gets created. So Terry tag added main. So this is a great way. So say you already had like 500 different resources built. You don't wanna go have to go back through and tag everything manually or keep everything up to date. Uh, on their specific resources, you can get, get all your defaults in a locals block. And then now that that locals block can actually um, just pull all those in each time you do a Terraform uh, plan or apply. So if you do a Terraform, oh, we won't, do, we won't um, go ahead and um, that's it. So once you do actually get that uh, um, added, then you don't have, you can just do the uh, the uh, normal apply and then it'll add all those tags. But we won't do that because I don't want to have to build those resources out. But let's say you don't want to actually rename the file here to Terra tag. Let's actually uh, run this back. So if we delete this and we rename this back to .tf. So, and then we go ahead and add the rename flag and I believe on the site that was dash rename, if I'm not correct. So scroll down here. Should have gave us a, oh, here we go. So directory tags, skip Terraform tags. Should be an option. Let's see, oh, skip. No, that's not it. Let's go ahead and let's do this. Just run Terra tag and see if it has any. Oh, rename. Okay, there we go. So could have probably just put that at the end, but let's go ahead and add that here. So rename and it's probably just equals false. Let's see. See if I can find rename on this page. Oh, okay, rename equals false. So, so now if I hit enter there, so it kept it, the original, um, it still made the dot back, but it kept the name dot tf. So that's good if you actually do keep your uh, naming uh, schemes different than what, you know, adding actual, actually dot tear tag. So, that's one way to do that. Uh, still did the same thing, gave us all the different tags and stuff from there. So it's probably one of those things you could run once and then maintain the uh, locals block uh, going forward. Um, so, you know, really, you know, as you can see, it's just adding the same thing that we added on the, um, the, the command line, but it does it across all the uh, different resources you already have um, within that same module block. So again, real simple tool. If you have any questions in regards to it, um, you know, drop me a comment down below. I think this is a, a good tool that people could use um, for existing and new environments as well. Um, again, if you have any other use cases around this that you've done, or have if you've used the actual company that's um, that built this ENVO, uh, shoot me a comment down below. I'm you know curious to check out some of their tool sets and stuff like that. So again, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.